Hello and welcome to Wooden Graphite, the number two pencil based video channel on the internet. Today, we're looking at the mystery behind this Czech pencil. So this is the pencil in question. This is a Bohemia Works Blue Star 3424. I picked this up in Prague in a bookshop called Neo Luxor Palace of Books. It was in the very, very bottom floor, right in the basement, and I find about 10, 15 of them, and I bought 10. That is nine, there's another one upstairs, but I bought a whole bunch of them, and I did this because they're very, very interesting. And the reason they're interesting is that they confuse me. They're a little bit weird, a little bit wonderful, and I'm not entirely sure where they come from, how old they are, and why they're even in the country in the first place. Now, the reason why this is interesting is written on the pencil itself here and here. So, first of all, for those of you who don't know, Czechoslovakia is not a country anymore. It hasn't been since 1993, which means these pencils are at least 22 years old, unless they kept making pencils with the wrong name on them, which I can't see that happening. Uh, so, Czechoslovakia, not a country, still printed on the pencil. That makes these old, as far as I'm concerned. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm just making assumptions here. Second thing, Bohemia Works. Now, a little bit of research turned up that Bohemia Works is actually a subsidiary of Koenor that they used to sell pencils in countries where they did not own the Koenor trademark. Now, that's interesting because in Czechoslovakia, they did own the Koenor trademark because that's what they sold all their pencils under. Again, correct me if I'm wrong, but all the pencils in the Czech Republic or Czechoslovakia as it once was, are Koenor. There's a lot of them there. It's pretty much the, the biggest brand there. So they had the trademark. Why are they selling Bohemia Works pencils in Czechoslovakia when the Bohemia Works brand is made for countries outside of Czechoslovakia? Confusing. Add to that that we find them in Prague in a shop in the Czech Republic some 20 odd years after the country they were made for, printed on their barrel, doesn't exist. Very, very confusing. Now I picked these up for about 10 crowns each. Uh, 10 Czech Karuna, or Czech crowns, which is about 27p or 50 cents each, I guess. Um, I bought a bunch, as you can see. And what was interesting was, if you look on the barcode here, I'm taking it off this one, but the barcode reads S-T-I-L-U-S-000364 star. Now, they tried six or seven barcodes. None of them worked. They tried so many of them, and, and they just didn't scan in. And I don't speak any Czech, really, apart from uh, hello and thank you. But um, they seemed confused and kind of annoyed that I kept buying these. So they eventually just, the first time they rang them in as 10 crowns, and I went back to a different person, and he rang them in as 10 crowns. So it seemed to be either they just charged a default rate for miscellaneous pencil, or these were actually came up with 10 crowns. I don't, I don't actually know. But I bought 10 of them for 100 crowns, which is like three quid or something. So not a lot of money at all, five bucks maybe. Um, now they're in the basement. They were kind of hidden away beside the counter in a, in a kind of disused pencil pot that didn't look as if it ever got stocked up. So these may well have sat in the basement of that store for 20 years. The, the uh, Neo Luxor Palace of Books is like the big primary um, bookstore in Prague. It's right on uh, Wenceslas Square. And it's one of their big main stores. Apart from the one in uh, the main station, it's kind of one of the biggest ones in their, in their main city. So it's a pretty big deal. Now, I find this pencil fascinating. I find a little bit of information on ones like this, but never this one exactly. It writes in green. Uh, let me grab this paper here. It writes in green, and it's it's pretty nice. So if I just, there's my signature. It's uh, quite soft, writes in green, and it's this nice kind of light. It's lighter on the, on the camera than it'll be in real life, but it's a nice color. And uh, it's a big, thick, chunky pencil, if you can't already tell. So it's not a bad pencil in the slightest, but the reason I bought so many and the reason I find it fascinating is just the dichotomy of where did this thing even come from? Why is it here? Why was it sat in a bookshop for 20 years waiting for me to pick it up? Because, I mean, it's just confusing. This country doesn't exist. This brand was made to sell in countries other than this. So why is this on one pencil? And secondly, why are they being sold in Prague? A country where they own the rights to Koenor, they could have put Koenor brand or whatever you want on it. So, very interesting question. I don't speak enough Czech to ask the people in the store. So, uh, maybe Koenor will 
come to me and, and let me know what this was. But I've got a couple of questions. So why was it even here? If this brand was made for selling outside of Czechoslovakia, why did we find them in the Czech Republic 20 years after that? Question one. How long? Question two. How long has it sat there? So if Czechoslovakia was dissolved in 93, that means they're like 22 years old if they were made right before it finished. More than likely, they sat in the shelves a little bit before that. So these are maybe as old as I am, if not older. So I'd really love to know if someone can help me date these to a specific year, which would be really, really cool. Are they worth anything? Um, not to the bookshop, who sold them to me for very little. I don't even care if they're worth nothing because I don't buy pencils because I wanna make money off them. I'll buy them because I think they're awesome. So I don't care if these are worth anything, but it'd be interesting to find out if these are collectible or in fact, worth something to anybody. I mean, are they are they rare? I mean, I found about 15 of them in the store, but I didn't see them anywhere else in Prague. I didn't see them anywhere else I ever looked. So are they rare? Are they unusual? Have I stumbled across something wonderful? Are these just some sort of weird forgotten back-end pencil that no one really likes or cares about? If so, I will be the, the champion of it. I will keep these, don't worry, feel safe. So has anyone else got these? If you have one of these, if you know someone with one of these, if you know anything about them, please leave a comment, send me an email, let me know because I'm very interested in finding out. And what does Coenora have to say about this? I'm gonna send the video to them and see what they think. And uh, I'd love it if they go back to me and let me know, is this something you know about? Do you have any history on the, the Bohemia Works Czechoslovakian Blue Star pencil mystery intrigue special wool? Because I find it fascinating. And I think that uh, the Conor brand is amazing. There's so many cool, cool pencils. I bought so many when I was in Prague. And uh, I'd really love to know a little bit more about this pencil because I think it's a really, really cool story. And maybe it'll be boring. Maybe if I learn the truth, it'll take away some of the mystique and some of the, the intrigue and the wonder. But I think it's pretty cool. And I think these are pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna give one of them away and uh, I'm sure I'll trade some more of them with people. I'm gonna keep a couple for myself, of course, because I, I like them, I wanna be reminded of them. So that is the uh, Bohemia Works Blue Star 3424 Czechoslovakian Mystery Intrigue Secret Lost in Time Pencil. Ooh.